Okay. Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Let's go. Despite years of nearly constant news coverage since the beginning of the war in Iraq in 2003, a 2006 National Geographic study has revealed that a majority of college students still can't locate Iraq on a map. <laughs> Additionally, 90% can't locate Afghanistan, and 54% don't know that Sudan is a country in Africa. However, although global illiter illiteracy in students is something to be concerned about, I would argue that this is actually a symptom of a larger problem. That problem is, we as college students simply aren't interested in retaining information that doesn't affect our GPA. Hmm. In talking to classmates, you can see a clear disenchantment and disconnection with our studies. Symptoms of this disenchantment include, but are not limited to, waiting until the night before an exam to cram information, taking a class specifically because the professor has a high easiness rating on ratemyprofessor.com, <laughs> and skipping a class to take part in a much more important activity, napping. <laughs> show me a student who has not done one of these things, and I will show you a liar. <laughs> <laughs> However, because this behavior is very widespread, it's easy to just think of this, in this activity as something that is inevitable for college students something that we as college students should just accept. However, the need to change our attitude towards education becomes increasingly urgent when we face the ugly reality that we all want to avoid. We're paying a heck of a lot of money to be here. Hmm. According to a 2011 report on, from Project on Student Debt, the average debt for Concordia graduates in 2010 was over $32,000 given that the tuition will continue to steadily increase over the years, 2014 grads will probably face something closer to 40000 No doubt, the reasons for going to college vary. However, if our only intent for going to college is a degree, then is $40,000 really worth it? Personally, if I'm going to be in that much debt, I need to be getting something out of my classes every single day. In light of the impending debt that awaits us upon graduation, something needs to be done so that we're getting more out of college than simply grades, a degree, and possibly a collar ring. <laughs> to do that, we need to change the way that we look at education. Ever since kindergarten, school has been something that has been our parents' decision. We would have been more than happy to stay at home with our Barbies and our Legos, but we quickly, le quickly learned that this decision was not negotiable. Thus we came to look at college, or rather as, at school, as something that was an obligation, something that we have no say in. However, we're in college now, and education is our own responsibility. If you skip class to take a nap, that's your own choice. However, with a $40,000 debt, doing the math, that accounts to wasting over $100 because of the class that you missed. So, in order to get ourselves out of bed and into the classroom, we need to find more meaning in our studies by stopping our focus on education and starting to focus on learning. Dr. Dennis Cheek from the Kaufman Foundation explained in 2009 the difference between education and learning, in that education is associated with specific structure and obligation, whereas learning has much broader connotations that are applicable throughout our entire life. Thus, it is important to adopt this broad review so that we look at college as more than something that just an end to a mean. Something else that promotes this perspective is the Vlogbrothers channel on YouTube, run by award-winning novelist John Green and his musically gifted brother, Hank Green. The videos by John and Hank promote a new sense of learning that isn't an obligation that we must trudge through until we graduate but rather something that has significant implications and benefits in our personal life. For example, in response to the ever-present question in college classrooms, is this going to be on the test? <laughs> John Green responds, the test will measure whether you are an informed, engaged, and productive citizen of the world, and it will take place in schools, and bars, and hospitals, and dorm rooms, and in places of worship. The test will judge your ability to think about things other than celebrity marriages, 
whether you'll be able to be persuaded by empty political rhetoric, and whether you'll be able to place your life and your community in a broader context. The test will last your entire life, and will be comprised of the millions of decisions that, when taken together, make your life yours. And everything, everything, will be on it. <laughs> this new way of looking at tests proposed by John Green creates a new sense of significance in what we learn in our classrooms, and is not unlike the way Megan implores us to look at speeches in a broader context. Tests aren't something that just occur in a classroom, something that is timed and scored. Rather, tests are every decision, every action, every conclusion you make. Any circumstance where you are recalling and using information is a test. Just think about the impact this would have on how we look at college. Imagine a world where education isn't simply a soul-crushing hoop that we must jump through in order to get a degree, something that is merely a stepping stone towards a career filled with useless information that will simply be brushed aside. Instead, it could be an environment that recognizes the beauty in the pursuit of knowledge itself, something that creates personal pride and enjoyment outside of earning a letter grade, where education is something that changes and develops us as individuals, encouraging intellectually curious minds, people with a broader worldview, and those who have expanded critical thinking abilities. My money isn't worth the former scenario, but it is worth the latter. If you also want more for your money, stop taking $100 naps. <laughs> Start reading attentively for your classes. Take an active involvement in your learning and responsibility for your education. Not for the grades, but for yourself. Grades are simply a helpful byproduct of being an informed and engaged individual. Finally, look up the videos on the sheets that I will hand out. These sheets have just a few examples of some videos by the Vlog Brothers and will hopefully continue to inspire you to take your intellectual growth seriously the way they continue to inspire me.